Okay, so your name on your packet. On the first page, PGO1. Open it up, page one. Now, on page one on the top, it says, Construct a triangle ABC with sides measuring exactly four, five, and six centimeters. So I need you to draw me a triangle using the ruler I just gave you to measure out four, five, six. Now, just a reminder, if you have the clear rulers, zero is not on the edge. Zero is the first long line. You want to use a centimeter side. It says centimeters on it. Then zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. If you have the metal rulers, zero again is not on the edge, but the longest line. Let me switch it over. Zero is not at the edge, but the first long line. Then centimeters, it says centimeters right there next to the one. So <laughs> they're all basically the same rulers, right? So draw me a triangle that measures exactly four, five, six. One of the sides is four, one of the sides is six, one of the sides is five. Doesn't matter what the order is. Go ahead and tell me when you're done and show me your completed triangle that measures exactly four, five, and six. So here's a compass. Now, a couple of things. Uh, the numbers on the top and there's numbers on the bottom. The numbers on the top is, Orlando, stop. Centimeters. Are centimeters, very good. The numbers on the bottom are? Inches. inches, very good. Okay, the most important part to me, this is what I call the magnifying glass. This is a magnifying glass because it kind of looks like it, but it's not. What I want you to do is literally Feel the bottom of this magnifying glass. So with your finger, feel the bottom. What do you feel? There's a little bump. So feel the little bump. That little bump that you're feeling is actually extremely important. And I'm going to refer to it as the bump. So when I say the bump, I'm literally right here underneath the magnifying glass. There's a little bump. That's I'm going to refer to that a thousand times today. Okay, now... We have here the red knob, and there's two triangles on the top and two triangles on the bottom. Do you guys see the two triangles on the top? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very important as well. That's where it's pointing to the number that we need. Right now, mine is pointing to the four and like six and a half. It gives you two measurements. Then it has two holes where your pencil goes. Depending on the triangle is where we put our pencil, and I'll tell you that in a second. Now the knob, this is the number one thing that breaks. If you turn it to the left, this way, it loosens it. So turn it a little, enough to it for it to slide, okay? I want you to slide it to four centimeters. So put one of the triangles pointing to four, and then tighten it to the right. So you're going this way to the right to tighten it. Now don't tighten it super hard, because that's how you break the uh, gears. You just want to tighten it enough so it kind of just stays in place. If I tap it, it doesn't move. You don't want to tighten it so much. It's not going to live there forever, okay? It's just going to live there for another 10 seconds. So you don't want to keep cranking it because that's how it breaks. So is your triangle pointing to the four centimeters? Yeah, yeah. Everybody's triangle is pointing to the four centimeters? Yeah. Okay. So wherever your triangle is pointing to the four centimeters, we're going to place our pencil in there. Some mistake that I saw second period is that kids would put your pencil over here. And it's like, but is is that triangle pointing to four? Yeah. No. So we don't use that hole if we're not pointing to it, okay? All right. Take your pencil. Put a dot in the center of your white paper. Put a dot on the center of your white paper. Mine's at five. Set it to four. Wait, I tie in mine? Mine doesn't want to, like, it doesn't want to. Okay. What? I tie in mine and it's right here. Okay. Oh, that's okay. It's a chip break. Oh. 
Oh. No, you need bicep muscles to like tighten it. Oh. Okay, you got a dot in the middle. Is the triangle set to four? Is it like tight? All right. Okay, not really tight. Okay, bump on the dot. Put the bump on the dot. Bump on the dot. Okay. Now, with your other hand that you don't use to write. So I'm going to use my left because I don't write with my left. Bump on the dot and I'm going to place and hold my index finger down there. Right on the magnifying glass. Put your index finger on the magnifying glass. The pencil goes into the hole that has the four centimeters pointing to it. It could be this hole or it could be this hole, depending on where you use it. Pencil there, and now draw me a circle. Go all the way around, moving just the pro compass all the way around. I have a bump. So you should draw a circle, just like so. This is cool. Oh, I have never done a perfect circle before. My leg broke. <laughs> that happens. It's OK. Oh, my God. Wait, miss. I'm actually, I'm actually qualified. Yay. Can I keep this? Yeah, this is actually Wait, miss, can I pay you a dollar? Okay, there was way more than a dollar. Okay, uh, set your compass to nine centimeters. So open it up. Yeah. Okay, open it, move it to nine centimeters. Nine centimeters on the top. Which one? Which triangle reaches the nine? The left. I mean the right. The right. only one, right? Yeah. As long as you can set it. It doesn't matter which one you use as long as it does make it to nine. So here it is. There's only one option for nine. Are we the same thing again? Yep. So you're going to use the other hole now for most of you. Same dot, same bump, There's same dot, right? not, uh, nine centimeters. <clears throat> bump on the dot. Which one? Nine. Sure, whatever you need to do. Now draw me a circle that's nine centimeters. It should fit, if you did your dot in the center, it should fit perfectly without going off the paper. Wait, do I, do I do the, the one on the very edge? On the, like, which, which, which circle do I do? Like, the one that reaches the nine. my circle, first circle. You're confused. Yes, with what? Centimeters. There's no nine inches on there. Brianna, stop. There's only one nine on the ruler, which is centimeters. Okay, last one. Six centimeters. Draw me six centimeters. Yep. So basically, we're like we're creating a target. Target. Target practice. The solar system as well. So six centimeters. Yes. Yep. Oh, on the six? So you should have a four, a six, and a nine. All we're doing with this is we're just practicing how to use it, how to use a... Um, you can make a triangle with this. I know, right? How am I... I mean, this is the tool that you need to draw triangles. Something that draws circles will actually help us draw triangles today. Anything is possible too. All right, so this is just practicing how to use a compass. Yay, we did it. Some super awesome and some. All right, now I'm going to teach you how to use this to draw a triangle. Unheard of. Okay, go back to page one. Construct the same triangle using a compass this time. So now I'm going to teach you how to do it so you can do the whole packet. So please, please, please stay with me, stay focused, and we're going to be using a compass for 90% of this packet. So it's very important that you now know how to use it when it comes to triangles. All right, I'm going to write down the steps I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a four, five, six centimeter triangle. So we're still drawing the same triangle. Some of you were successful, some of you were not. So today, everyone's gonna be successful. Okay, step one. Draw the longest 
line. I like to start with the longest line. I like to start with the longest line. So which line is the longest? Six. Six. So I'm going to take my regular ruler. You can also use this as a ruler if you want. This is zero all the way to six as a line. Or you can use a regular uh, ruler and draw me six centimeters. Now, don't draw it on the top because I need some room. So draw it, I'm gonna leave like a hand, and then I'm gonna draw it underneath my hand. Give myself some room. So six centimeters. So where is zero on your ruler? There is zero for me. I'm gonna go all the way to six, okay? So I'm gonna draw a six centimeter root line. So it starts at zero all the way to six. Okay, no matter which ruler I use, they're all going to be the same because it's a ruler and they all measure exactly the same. So even if I use a clear one, it's still six. Remember, we don't start at one. We start at zero over here. I'm going to label it six centimeters. Okay. I like to start with the longest line. Okay. Step two, dot both ends. Dot both ends. So I'm going to put a dot here. And I'm going to put a dot here. Dot, dot. So, like, I have a quick question. Are you a sub for Brown Bartles? Like, no, she has a sub. Oh. I wish. I, haven't, I don't think I've ever subbed in that class. I want to. All right. Dot, dot. Wait, have you ever done like a Not this year. Three. Okay. Set compass two. Five or four? What do you guys want to do? Five. Does it matter which one I choose? No. no. But you guys said five centimeters and, Brianna, we're writing this down, draw an arc. Okay. So set the compass, set the compass, and draw an arc. Set the compass and draw an arc. An arc? Arc. Does anybody know what an arc is? I know an arc. Like Noah's Ark, but in math. Okay. Uh, an arc is kind of like a rainbow. Uh, it's like part of a circle. An arc is part of a circle. So, we wrote this down. Okay. So, set your compass to five centimeters. So, glide it to five. One of the triangles have to be pointing to five. One of the triangles has to be pointing to the five. Tighten it. Remember, tighten it a little bit. It does not going to stay there forever. Okay, so we're, this is the mistake kids did. You see, this is pointing to five, so I'm going to use this hole. But second period, I saw some kids using this hole. But I'm like, wait, is that pointing to five? No. So don't use this hole that's not pointing to five. I'm going to stick my pencil where the five is. There's the five. There's where my pencil goes. Okay? So, bump and dot. Bump and dot. Remember I told you I was going to say bump all period long. So the bump on the dot, hold your index, maximum, thumb power, whatever. Okay, I'm going to draw an arc. This is how much I need. I need like a quarter of a circle. I don't need, need a half a circle. I don't need a full circle. I just need about a quarter of it. So go ahead and draw this arc. This is like showing work. This arc is showing work. If you don't do it, I know you're not doing it correctly. So draw this arc. Remember, how did I do that? I put five. bump on the dot. My triangle's on the five. Good. Draw my semicircle. Pew, 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 pew. We're good? All right. Now, we're good? Step four. Write this down. Step four. Set compass to... Four centimeters and draw an arc. This is the most important part. On the other side or end. Okay, this is the most important part. Set a compass to four centimeters and draw an arc on the other end. On the other end. On the other end. Why four? Because that's the last number I haven't used. I haven't used the four. So I have to use the four now. 
but it has to go on the other end. The number one mistake kids do is they don't go to the other side, the other end of the line. And it won't work. It won't work. And it's really clear when you guys do that mistake. Okay, so set this to four centimeters. So I'm gonna move my dial, slide it over to four. Connect, tap, 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 right? So it's at four. This is where my pencil's gonna go. This is where my pencil's gonna go. Okay, so what does the other side mean? I already used this dot, right? I can't use it again. It, I have to use the other side. It like, it's no longer there, can't use it. You'll make a mistake if you use it again. So the dot on this side now, on the other side, put my dot and my bump together, hold it down. I'm just looking for the two arcs to connect. I'm looking for where they join together, where they cross each other, where they intercept. So many different words for this. Where do the two arcs cross? That's what I'm looking for. So make them cross, make them cross. Your job is to make these two cross. So, uh-oh, do I need to draw the other one bigger? Do I need to draw this one bigger? This arc bigger, the other one bigger? Whatever, I need them to cross. So I'm gonna put a dot where they cross. Where they cross. Now label that the top of your triangle. This dot where they cross, that's the top of your triangle that you're constructing. Okay, now take a ruler or your compass and connect these with a straight line. Don't hand, don't just do it by hand eyeballing it. Use your ruler, use your compass and draw straight lines. I want a triangle at the end of the day, so you should end up with a triangle like so. Now let's see if we actually did it correctly. Those are, these is showing work. Could you go back and erase those? Yes. Could you leave them there to show me the work? Yes. Okay. Now, if you measure Dylan from dot to dot, this should measure exactly five. So double check. Does it measure exactly five? You double check yours. So connect it with a straight line and then double check. Does this one measure four centimeters exactly with the ruler? Double check. This is how you're gonna know if you did it right. Showing me on your piece of paper, Miss Amelia, is this right? I can tell you yes, but you won't know until we actually use a ruler to measure. If you use your ruler and the dot to dot is four and five, you did it correctly. So step five, connect dots. Step five is to connect dots. You want a triangle at the end of the day. So make sure yours looks like a triangle. And let's label our sides. That's five centimeters, that's four centimeters, and that's six centimeters. Yay, hopefully you did it. Are we okay? Okay. It's a lot of steps, but <clears throat> Sophia, by the end of the period, you'll be faster at it. It's the first two that are slow because you're learning and then you, you get it and then you're on your way. All right, let's turn to page two. I'm gonna walk you through this one and then you're on your own. But if you feel confident, you can 100% work a little bit ahead of me. Just keep checking in to make sure yours looks like mine. All right, number three, what's our first step? Draw the longest line. What is the longest line? Seven. Okay, so this is what we do with a regular ruler or your regular compass. Draw a line, just a simple line. Make sure you do it below. Don't do it too high, because we got a room for arcs. So here is zero, all the way to seven. Zero to seven. Make sure it starts at zero and ends at seven. So zero to seven, just like this, Ethan, with your ruler. Does it matter where the three and five go? Draw a line at seven. Label it seven. Put the dot, dot. Dot, dot. Okay. Three or seven, does it matter? No, what should I do, three or seven? What do you guys think? 
Two. I like three. Okay, so I'm going to set it to three. Our paper yes, your staple's going to get in the way. Just, you know what, honestly, Dylan, I don't need it up here. So if you can't draw something up here because of the staple, that's all right. I need the arc somewhere over here, actually. So even as though the staple's going to get in your way, you don't, it's not going to affect. I really need it like somewhere over here, look, like that. If it gets in the way, just stop. I don't think you need to go that far. I think mine's way too big. Okay. I already did the seven. I already did the three. What's left over? Five. Five. Okay. Set it to five. Can everybody stop for a second, please? Everybody stop. Stop, 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 stop. Freeze. Give me 10 seconds. Everybody stop. Freeze. Look up here, Desiree. Give me five seconds of your attention, Orlando. Bella. Thank you. Eyes up here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Des uh, Genesis. Okay. I'm going to make a mistake, and I want you to see my mistake. So if you do this, you fix it and you don't call me over. You just fix it. I set it to five. I'm going to use the right hole. This is the mistake. If you end up with this, what did I do wrong? You use the same. Yes, I use the same dot. So if you end up with a what looks like a rainbow, check yourself, Dylan, and go like, oh, I got a rainbow. Nope. I what I did wrong is I didn't use this dot. So if you ever get this mistake. It's just you didn't use the right dot. All right, go. So erase this, because that's wrong. No rainbows. Dot bump over here. And basically, I just need to see where they cross. So it could be that small, because I don't need a whole arc. Just this, this much. All I need to know is where they cross. Yes. The whole page. Yeah. Four, five, six. Yep. And seven, eight. Okay, connect them with a straight edge. Connect your dots with the straight edge. And Dylan and everybody, before you move on, Dylan and everybody, go back and measure it with your ruler. Does this give me three? Does this give me five? And if it doesn't, what did I do wrong? So don't just copy the numbers. But actually use your ruler to see, hey, did I really get three and five? Okay, you're going to keep going and come around and help those who need help. So we're only doing the back of your homework. Number seven on the packet is weird. It will not collect, connect, and that's okay. Number eight, the missing number. Because you use your English skills, five is sides. All right, in order for us to leave on time, I need you to stop and pass in your ruler and compass. I cannot let you go until I get everyone's ruler and compass. People in the front, can you make me two piles so it's easier for me to count how many rulers and how many compasses? Two piles. Is it five? Yeah, number seven. How did you get number seven wrong? I did show it. How did I get the homework? We're only doing the back, right? Only the back. Wait, miss, look. Thank you for organizing. This is the guy. I should not see a triangle.